Good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. As Muslim faithful celebrated the feast of the Ram Churi across the national territory, they have been told to be agents of peace and unity in the society. Messages on prayer grounds in the center region, literal, the northwest and the southwest regions of the country. As we are going to be seeing in this edition of the primetime newscast on Equinox Television, were centered on the Anglophone crisis and upcoming presidential election in the country. Also ahead, the convoy of the CRM. A professor Maurice Camto intercepted in Bagante, west region of the country by security forces. Plus, we take a look at the extreme bad state of road in Bonandale, that is a locality in the Douala for subdivision. We shall be right back. Stay with us. to you ladies and gentlemen you're watching the 6 p.m prime time news cast on Equinox television we thank you so much for joining us let's begin by with the feast of the ram celebrated across the national territory to bring the return of peace to the conflict in the northwest and the southwest regions of the country that was the principal message from the imam of the Douala Central Mosque this morning during prayers to mark the Feast of Tabaski in the city of Douala, Imam Farouk Malik also invited Cameroonians to be patriotic citizens. Details with Babla Jonathan. Muslim faithfuls in Cameroon's economic capital Douala declare the greatness of Allah as they celebrate the Feast of the Ram as they bow to the ground in sign of worship and look up in expectation they are calling on Allah to restore peace in the country, especially in the crisis-stricken northwest and southwest regions. For Islam, the love for fatherland is worship. If you love your fatherland, you will do everything to protect it. A Muslim faithful must always be exemplary, respecting the law. We cannot live without peace. We are working and praying for peace. All Muslim faithfuls have to unite to say no to all all forms of instability and violence in our country. We are thinking about the people of the Northwest, Southwest, and even the Grand North regions who are living in a nightmare. We prayed that our country should be in peace, that the problems in the Northwest and Southwest regions should come to an end. Together with administrative and other religious authorities, they are also inviting Allah to lead the country through the presidential election in peace and to please Allah in view of receiving answers to their petitions. The sacrifice of the ram is offered in remembrance of what Ibrahim did several years ago. And in Penja of the Mongo Division, littoral region of Cameroon, peace and unity were equally re echoed by Imams Manjikan Gebrain. The following report is going to be telling us that even the intense rainfall was not an impeding factor. Let's hear him in the following story. The heavy downpour that engulfed the town of Penja in the Mongo Division Tuesday wasn't in any way a hindrance for Muslim faithfuls as they celebrated the Feast of Tabaski. It was with the aid of umbrellas for some and commercial motorcycles with covering that Muslim faithfuls converged at the Penja Central Mosque for the first part of the event dedicated to prayers. According to the Imam of the Penja Mosque, peace should reign in Cameroon, particularly in troubled zones like the north, northwest, and southwest. We also prayed for the end of the illegal sale of hard drugs to our children and unity in Cameroon. Part two of the event was the symbolic killing of the ram, just as Ibrahim did in the place of his son Ishmael. According to the Islamic calendar, Muslims will be engaged again in prayers in nine months' time, and that will culminate to the feast of Ramadan. 
and in Bamenda, chief town of the northwest region of Cameroon, Muslim faithfuls equally prayed for the return of peace in the conflict hit northwest and the southwest regions of Cameroon. The old town prayer ground was heavily militarized, as we hear in the following report with Franklin Mwabe and Bo Stella. <laughs> Despite the heavy downpour in Bamenda Tuesday morning, Muslim faithful still marched to the Old Town Prayer Ground under tight security to offer prayers to Allah. Peace and unity were at the center of the message of the Imam. At the Central Mosque in Bamenda, Muslim faithful prayed for the return of peace in the northwest and southwest region. We pray today, the Muslim community, our Imam, uh, the Muslim SD was with us. We pray for peace in this country, especially in Northwest and Southwest region. We are praying for peace, for peace and unity. Apart from the message of peace preached by the Imam, the Muslim youth leader called on all Muslim youths to respect the authorities over them and uphold the virtue of sacrifice and obedience, which is the hallmark of the Feast of Tabaski. The respect of authority is part of our duty. Sacrifice is part of our duty. What you love most, you can sacrifice it for, do, for the person who does not have. Obedience is also a principle of Islam. So I enjoin all the Muslim youths in Bamenda and all over the Northwest region and in Cameroon to be obedient, to be respectful, to learn how to sacrifice and at this particular moment to be very vigilant and also to be prayerful. A ram was slaughtered. Which according to Muslims symbolizes Abraham's obedience to Allah when he was asked to sacrifice his only son Ismail. At the end of the ceremony attended by some administrative authorities of the region, Muslim faithfuls took back home the message to pursue peace and live together with both Muslims and non-Muslims while they continue celebrating the Feast of Tabaski. In the name of Allah, most precious, most merciful, Allah is great. Before we talk about measures taken by bishops in the northwest region of the country to assist internally displaced persons in the two Anglophone regions of Cameroon, we come back here to the country's economic capital, Douala, to talk about the population of Bon and Dala in the Douala for subdivisions that have outrightly criticized what they have so far described as the deplorable state of the road leading to the slaughterhouse. They have complained that it now takes 45 minutes to cover a seven minute distance. Let's have the details in the following report with Innocent Aze. A crater secondary road in Bonandale, Douala Four subdivision. This road has been like this for, for a very long time. We just all wanted to fix it. In the rainy season, tiny lakes are formed, worsening accessibility. Getting bad, they'll come and put some gravel in, and again it gets bad, they keep trying to see what they can do. Traveling from the main road to the slaughterhouse is a nightmare. Apart from the discomfort posed, the road users fume at the catastrophe the dilapidated road causes to their vehicles. My vehicle goes to the garage for shocks and, and some link stabilizers. Les gens pay très cher pour Accidents, the road users say, are recorded on a daily basis on the sixth state of road. Moving out of the neighborhood to the main road is time consuming. A design that uh, should have been about well, seven minutes is now 45 minutes because of the bad road we have. Commercial motorbike riders tend to maximize more profit as transport fare doubles. For first time, we've we'll carried them 400, but now 500. Being a commercial road, butchers and beef vendors reportedly transport the meat meant for consumption under insanitary conditions. Sur le plan du commerce, ça ne marche pas bien. That is being handled with mobs all over it. Pour aller vendre aux gens, c'est très très grave. Council authorities are urged to have compassion and quickly remedy the situation, which might also affect students and peoples as the 2018-2019 school year begins few weeks from now. 
the difficulties of commuters on the using the route in Bonandale, that is in the Douala for subdivision. Now, supporters of the Kamu Renaissance Movement, the CRM political party of Professor Maurice Kamto, have protested against what they have qualified as an attack on the party over the weekend in Bangante, western region of Cameroon. The convoy of their president was halted at the entryway into the center of the town as he went uh, to meet party supporters. As we see in the following report, or should be noted that it was intercepted by security forces. Details with Fomi Armstrong Sander. The convoy of Maurice Kamto, national president of the Cameroon Renaissance Movement, CRM Party, and candidates for the upcoming presidential election had a hard time entering into Bangante, chief town of the Ndi division, for a meeting over the weekend. Access to the center of the town of Bangante was blocked as a result of a meeting of the rolling CPD and party holding in the same town on that day. The blocking of this main entryway provoked outrage from the CRM party supporters who qualified it as an attack on their party. Determined to move on with their agenda, the Carol Renaissance Movement Party meeting in Bangante finally took place at Lycée Classique. Maurice Camto in his speech saluted the efforts of the Nde Divisional CRM coordinator and stated that he feels at home anywhere in Cameroon and Bangante is no exception. The presidential hopeful presented his manifesto to the population of the Nde, a manifesto built on education, politics, production, solidarity and international cooperation. He also used the opportunity to call on youth and women to vote massively and decide Cameroon come October 7, 2018. Professor Maurice Camto, on leaving the Nde division, promised his fidelity to the population for a positive change in Cameroon. On to something else, the minister in the, or the military in Gaundere or security forces in Gaundere of the Abdamawa region of Cameroon have been told to be disciplined and professional in the discharge of their duties to the people of Adamawa region. The call was met during the visit of the Secretary of State in charge of defense or the Secretary of State at the Ministry of Defense in the country or the, the, the Secretary of State for Defense in charge of National Gendarmerie rather in the country details of Franklin Moabe. The Secretary of State for Defense in charge of the National Gendarmerie, Galax Etoga, have instructed the military in Gaundari to be disciplined and to maintain professionalism in their services to the people of the Damawa region, a region where people are always kidnapped and attacked by Boko Haram Islamic group and highway robbers, particularly at the stretch of road between Gaundari and Tibati. These instructions came during a brief and swift tour that the Secretary of State for Defense, charge of National Gendarmerie, made in Gaundary to visit the newly constructed building of the National Gendarmerie Research Brigade, escorts, and had talks with administrative authorities of that region. The Secretary of State for Defense, in charge of the National Gendarmerie, Dallas Toga, concluded his contact tour in Gaundary, which took him to the far north, north, and Adamara region. We now come back to the report on bishops of the Bamenda Ecclesiastical Province that have received over 5 million francs CFA from Catholic Men Fellowship for internally displaced persons as a result of the conflict uh, that is affecting the two Anglophone regions of Cameroon. The gesture came during the ongoing annual congress of the bishops in Bamenda, as Mfomi Armstrong Sander tells us in the following report. Since the start of the socio-political crisis, that has degenerated into violent and deadly confrontation in the north and southwest regions of Cameroon, the Catholic Church has been consistent in its effort to get peace and hope back to these regions. The Catholic Men's Association, an apostolic group of the Catholic Church, has been practically concerned about the suffering of people in the two English-speaking regions of the country. Joining the bishops of the Bamenda Ecclesiastical Province, BEPAC, in their ongoing 50 seat annual congress, the CMA presented an envelope worth more than 5 million francs CFA to support internally displaced persons in the north and southwest regions of the country. And what we're giving is as a result of the second basket during the motive, uh, motive mass that was carried at the end of the novena, 31st July that in all over the country, each person chipped transport has brought a packet. 
the little we could do to save the souls, the little we could do to keep people happy. It was received by the bishops for onward transmission. We are going to go around, I mean, on all our diets, there are people who are greatly in it, who have been displaced, who have been absolutely, you know, the lives have been changed by what is, what is going on. And we will reach out to them. We have had our opportunity to do that before. It is coming after the just ended special novena of the CMA, which centered on justice and peace in Cameroon. The ecclesiastical province groups the Diocese of Murphy, Kumba, Boya, Bamenda, and Kumbo, whose Christians have also been hard hit by the crisis. We now discover a Cameroonian educationist and humanitarian was conferred the highest academic uh, distinction in the United Kingdom. Dr. Francis Biaka in the, is the first Cameroonian, it should be noted, and second African to be given an honorary degree from the Excess University in the United Kingdom. Derek Jato is going to be telling us in the following report that after the ceremony which took place in the UK, she was received solemnly in the University of Boya. His report. Her humanitarian activities at home has ended her the highest distinction of this foreign university. I confer on you the degree of Doctor of the University Honoris Causa. We are at the University of Essex in the United Kingdom where Dr. Francis Kabiaka has been conferred Honoris Causa. In her introductory speech, the head of nursing health studies says Dr. Francisca Biaka stood for the values of the university. She is also a great advocate of the rights of the country's widowed population, one of Cameroon's most neglected social groups. And Frances Francisca also organizes workshops to teach widows how to maximize their opportunities in life and share knowledge on how each woman might improve her personal circumstances. As an honorary graduate and the second black to be conferred such an academic distinction, the highest this university can bestow on an individual, Dr. Francisca Biaka promised to remain a defender for the vulnerable and an advocate for the helpless. Mr. Chancellor, the university administration, I promise to wear this honor with pride and gratitude, allowing it to serve as a testament to the values of contributing to one's community with commitment and compassion. Once again, thank you for the honor and thank you for making me one of your own. I continue to give God the glory for his grace, favor, and love. Thank you for your kind attention. A victory to her nation, Cameroon, and her institution, the Biaka University, Boya, reason why a befitting reception in her honor was organized in Boya. We are glad to welcome you back. Congratulations, Bob. During which Dr. Francisca Biaka added, that the honor came on her thanks to the support from her collaborators. And that report brings us to the end of this first segment of the news. Up next is Talking Point. Stay with us. Good evening to you once again, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we are being joined by a member of the communication team of the NCMC political party, Mr. Lasha Kingsley. Good evening to you. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on Talking Point. Good evening, Mimi. It's a pleasure uh, having me here. We are also glad to have you. I should note that you are representing uh, one of the candidates vying for post of president in the country, uh, that is uh, Franklin Afangu in D4. Correct. Uh, we have seen him very rarely on the field, except when he was uh, announcing his candidature. That was in the month of May 2018. Many are asking, are curious rather, what could have motivated a man of God to run for post of president in Cameroon? Uh, Mimi Mayfor, uh, let me begin with uh, uh, a rundown of events that uh, happened in 2015. In 2015, uh, Franklin Defon Afangwin, 
uh, received a prophetic message from God about the Anglophone crisis. He did everything that he could uh, to, for him to be received at the presidency of the Republic of Cameroon to give the message, but nobody uh, granted him the access. He tried all he could to, so that the crisis could be prevented, but nobody uh, granted him access. And so, as many people are asking, uh, you know, uh, prophetic messages or when God talks to somebody, he does not, uh, has a particular time that he has to talk to the person. He has received a prophetic message of mm -hmm. saving Cameroon, mm -hmm. bringing back Cameroon, making Cameroon to have the peace that uh, it has w once enjoyed. So uh, it, I know it is spontaneous, it is so abrupt, but that is God's way. When you, we, say, when you say that he did all he could to be received by the president, of the Republic. What exactly do you mean? What are, what are you talking about? He booked an audience to see the President of the Republic and tell him the message that God, God revealed to him about what was going to happen in the two Anglophone regions of the country, but nobody granted him access. That is okay. what I mean. Okay. So as uh, the elections were approaching, God came again to him and told him that he was the right candidate to save Cameroon from this uh, 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 chaos that we're having in the two English-speaking regions of the country. And that the solution is not the current regime. The current regime cannot Correctly. be Correctly. You know, uh, wisdom from God is different from man's wisdom. Sure. Uh, Prophet uh, Franklin de Fonfangwin has uh, a kind of wisdom that is coming from God. God has actually instructed him to save Cameroon. To, to, to bring back the morals that Cameroon had once enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Because w when I look at uh, his uh, declarations, he indicated that politicians have actually plunged Cameroon into the suffering that we see today and the chaos. He says that he is coming as a God-ordained candidate. He also calls himself the candidate of the truth and transparency. Yeah. What is that all about? When he talks about politicians, that uh, are the reason why Cameroon is where it is now, uh, politicians are the reason why Cameroon is in politicians, chaos. What politi does that mean exactly? Politician, he mean, what he means by this is that uh, politicians have failed. You know, man's wisdom is not the same like God's wisdom. Mm -hmm. When you look at uh, some religious leaders who have ruled the world, you discover that uh, somebody like uh, Solomon, King Solomon, was the wisest of the kings. Somebody like David, we have some of these leaders. And so when people begin to say a man of God should not go into uh, a politics, politics of uh, you are questioning God, and uh, God is not to be questioned. God has actually given him a prophetic message of saving Cameroon. Uh, let me take you back. We have uh, Reverend Anders, uh, deputy minister in the then West Cameroon. Mm -hmm. He was a reverend, but a minister in West Cameroon. We equally have Reverend Kang uh, Kangerson, who was in, uh, in also in, in politics. We have John Maningufu of uh, Maninguli of Tanzania. We have Yemi Osibanjo of Nigeria, who is the we can say he's the president. He's actually the, the president the of Nigeria. Yeah, he's sure. acting. Most of the time, we Especially don't have worry on. Yeah. yeah, you see, many Nigerians loved him. They they, 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 they love him because of the way he is ruling Nigeria. And so, the question of people trying to uh, to question our candidate has In no essence, place. The best leadership can only come from God. It can only come from God. It's only God that is going to save Cameroon. No, no. Man has failed. All the politicians in Cameroon have failed Cameroon. Just look at what is happening. The conference that Cardinal Tumi has organized, just look at what is happening. Many people don't want the conference to, to be held. Look at a, 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 a venerable and repeatable man of God trying to hold a conference that will save the face of this nation from shame. And you see, we are caught, the population is caught between two walls. You have politicians on, the, on one side, the Anglophones as well. But most of the things that is happening in Cameroon is caused by the politicians. Because no, they no. don't have the will. Pray, they, prayers they don't, prayers they don't, have they don't, intensified. They don't have Mr. The Lasha Kinsley, if they have the prayers have intensified. We saw Muslim faithfuls praying for peace and unity in Cameroon. We've Correct. seen the Catholic Church praying for peace, the Presbyterian You're Church right. in Cameroon, the Baptist Church in general, and even Pentecostal churches. You're right. Apart mm -hmm. from prayers, what is the NCMC? proposing as solutions to the anglophone crisis uh, for now Mimi we will be organizing a press dinner in the days ahead to reveal our manifesto and what we the package that God has for Cameroon for now I can't say anything further 
we will organize a press dinner which you will be invited and where's when the you party's headquarters uh, at bonaberry people Duala. are curious Maybe to know where it's located in it is bonaberry. at bonaberry and in Son the church not in, no, no 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 not in the church it is at bonaberry and Senor bonaberry we will be organizing a press dinner to brief the world on what we have for cameroon and for now we can't say much but uh, I think we, God, God has a good, uh, God has decided this is the time that God says enough is enough. Cameroon has to, to be saved. Cameroon has to come back to its uh, feet. Yes, Mr. Lasha Kingsley, before we go, uh, what would be the campaign strategy of uh, the NCMC political party? Uh, right now, oh, we have our... Are you on campaign already? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Our communicators are, 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 are spread out there all in, all in all nooks and crannies of Cameroon. Right now, as we are speaking, we have people already in the far north, we have in the west region, we have in all regions of the country, they are doing the groundwork. You know, we can meet from a different, uh, a different background. Our background is not like that of other politicians that we have around. We have our strategies and we act according to God's instruction. What God tells us to do, we do exactly as God has asked us to do. So we are going to, 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 bring, to, to bring morals to Cameroon before, a, I mean, a drastic change. We are going to bring a drastic change to Cameroon by, first of all, bringing morals back, in, back to Cameroon. When morals is brought back, we can now start implementing our strategy, which will start from, we will begin with industrialization, and then into other sectors. I can't give you exactly what we'll be doing right now. Yeah, before the morals. We're moral, waiting for before, you on the day that we're organizing of, the press dinner. Of, of course, before you bring the morals, the people have to know the political, economic, and social program of the NCMC political party, and you say it will be unveiled be in unveiled the, in the days. days ahead. Thank you so much, Mr. Lasha Kingsley, for joining us tonight. On Talking Point, we hope to have you some other time again. Thank you. Thank me. you so much for your time. The pleasure is shared. To our viewers, it was equally a pleasure having with us in this edition of the Primetime Newscast on Equinox Television, wishing you a blessed stay in the company of our programs. Until we meet again, goodbye.